Hey guys, so today I apologize for the heater background noise. Uh, it's currently minus 35 degrees Celsius outside and uh, we just brought this thing from uh, being outdoors for the last two days covered in snow. So I'm trying to get it melted off. So I apologize for the noise in advance. Hope you can hear me. But uh, a while ago I posted a video uh, of me doing just a quick LC one and I, where I talked about uh, inspecting the propeller blades on these Saab 340s and how I've seen uh, leading edge damage and de-ice boot damage that caused uh, shorting and burning of the blades. Well, I got some blades here on the bench in front of me. Uh, incident happened about a month ago up in one of our, or our northernmost base. Uh, an engineer had to go out and ended up changing the, the, the two blades. They're the one bad one, but you have to change its pair along with it. So big, big job to do up there when it was, again, minus 35, minus 40 at the time. And <laughs> I'm just sure glad it wasn't me. But anyway, I'll show you what it is. This is the worst one I've ever seen. Here are the blade pairs. This is how they look when they're out of the hub. That's the spinner back plate, or a spinner back plate, not from the assembly this came from. There's the hub, a spare hub we have. But here's the blade that got damaged. So this is a pretty, pretty bad one. I'd say total this this measures about uh, I don't know six seven inches in length. Usually this happens from impact damage, and then um, which causes shorting in the uh, in the actual de ice boot wiring, and then it just goes nuts from there. So this blade we're just waiting. Uh, we we can fix these sometimes in house, uh, depending on how bad the damage is, and poly patches and whatnot, but. Uh, the state of this blade, like the leading edges don't look the best on it and uh, obviously this, the depth of this damage and it goes down pretty deep, hopefully I can get you a good shot. So that's getting into the foam of the blade, it's kind of the, the filler if you would like, it sits way through the poly layers, you can see some of the wiring there, copper wiring and it just burnt itself all the way down to where it stops so the repair like that would take quite a long time for us to do just getting these boots off typically if they were glued down properly with uh bostick it's called it's it's like a whole day job the glue that holds these damn things i swear holds the plates of the earth together and you end up usually when you're peeling these boots off inadvertently wrecking they're pulling poly patches up or, or poly layers and kind of wrecking the blade as you remove it so they are kind of a pain in the ass for that um, if you don't use Bostic typically would use 1300L which is kind of a, a common glue and it's a lot more forgiving but that being said 1300L doesn't stick quite as well but I've never had a uh, 1300 anything I've, I've glued many blades with 1300L I've never had a blade come off or anything I personal preference I prefer that just for the simple fact that <laughs> if it was Bostic on this thing just taking a blade uh, boot off is it can be a bitch but anyway guys I, I thought you might maybe you might enjoy this this is the worst one I've ever seen and uh, yeah that's what a burnt de ice blade uh, de ice boot on a uh, prop blade looks like and if you're a passenger on that flight you would have just seen a ring of sparks or fire <laughs> and it would have been kind of interesting Anyway guys, uh, that's it for now. I'm heading home. Uh, I've had it with this place. So uh, yeah, later.